A little over 12 months ago, we bought a workshop. This workshop. It's a small, humble space, but one that we have some pretty big ideas for. It became obvious fairly quickly that we had no idea what we were doing, but over the months getting this place ready, we've learned an awful lot. We do love a challenge, but now the fun is just getting started. I'm Molly. And I'm Dan. And welcome to the Mad Garage. This is where we started. Four walls, a mezzanine, lots of concrete, and not a lot else. No tools, no toilet, no atmosphere, but plenty of space for our imagination and ideas. So how do you build a workshop? I was hoping, wait, you're actually a qualified engineer, so. Well, sort of. Like, what's the most important thing you think that it needs? You're non-negotiable. Clean. Clean, Clean. organised, yeah. no clutter, yeah, it's got to be absolutely agreed. sharp. I want this place to look, to function like a workshop, but look nothing like a workshop. It's got to look like Formula One meets Google headquarters. Nice. Yeah. So we can have like sleeping pods and a Yeah, a like tea bags, a slippery dip, <laughs> rock climbing wall. Oh. You know, business down the bottom, party up the top. The main floor area is just under 80 square metres, so maximising workshop space is the priority here. A hoist needs to go near the door for easy access and maximum height. The back wall will be for tool storage and bench space, allowing one to two car bays in between. The left wall will be for fabrication equipment, more kit and storage. Upstairs will be for taking some downtime. We'll build a small kitchen and create a lounge area with big screen and comfy couches. And a simulator, of course. A dividing wall will hide essential storage at the back, while locating the bathroom up here frees up valuable space in the workshop area. Plus, there'll be a few mad touches along the way. Why are we here? Can we get a kitchen? What colour do you want? Pink. Give us a few different views, yeah, yeah, and just, yeah, that's good. Well, I'm really hungry. Um, what if, what have you got in the fridge? That's day one, paint. Not quite done. <laughs> I think we calculated exactly 50% of what we needed. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Which is really disappointing. Because I spent all our paint doing <laughs> a second layer, beautifully, of oh, the wall. wall that a storage rack's gonna be bolted onto and you're not gonna see, so. Uh, but I got my practice in. Wobbly. Think we're gonna run out of paint? Yes. <laughs> Again. Why why would we run out of paint? What's the real reason? I thought you were gonna say because I I'm painting I'm putting too much paint everywhere. No. I think you're doing a lovely job. So now we have all the painting done, it's on to building the walls for upstairs. Uh, which one have we got? I think it's one of these. That definitely works. Right. Uh, where do you want to go with it? Just on the other side. Oh. What's that? That is the toilet door. It's been a big day. Oh my god, I've got so much done. So now we'll just put them up and then get the electrician back. I'm gonna sneeze. So today's job is to paint the hand railings. It's gonna take ages. Optimistic in the corner, thanks for your input. <laughs> this 
been the best part of an hour and a half. And, and you've done... And that's all I've done. And it looks crap as well. It does look really <laughs> horrible. Although don't look... I've been doing the stairs um, and they look equally, if not slightly worse. It's my dried blood. Where's the sweat and tears? <laughs> They're over here. Nice one. Okay, so our new plan to fit the cupboards is to remove these end plasterboards, which are about 10 mil each in thickness. Uh, and then we've got this three mil MDF that we're going to just put up there to buy us back enough space. This is Nathan. He's technically the plumber. I found Dan's lunch. Just oh, the... <laughs> so I think we've just done some recycling. Bang in his hands. <laughs> and now our soaked bunning this plasterboard. <laughs> we'll hopefully be there over the next couple of hours. Out of a rating of all the jobs we've done so far, how would you rate doing the plasterboard on that roof? How do you know when I have any strength there? <laughs> Molly's out of town for a couple of days, so I've taken the opportunity to arrange a little surprise for the mollusk. Now, a couple of days ago, I spent all day in here acid etching this floor and taking off Molly's overspray from when we painted the walls, uh, which is about as enjoyable as watching paint dry. But now what you're gonna watch is some paint dry. Happy Christmas! You haven't unwrapped it yet, how do you know what it is? I'm staying on there. This is the best early Christmas present I've ever had. Gosh, how difficult was this to, to make? Really difficult, I'm trying to do. <gasps> oh yeah, this is quite... <laughs> 